So I play tested these Yonex Regna 100s for about three weeks off and on. Uh, I played a few matches with them, singles and doubles. I also played with them back to back so I would switch off uh, every game to see if there really was any difference between these two. And there isn't really much of a difference. I mean the strings are different so that probably contributes to it but the feel, there isn't much of a difference. That being said, the feel on both of these rackets is tremendous. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of Yonex from the baseline because for some reason the isometric shape just doesn't really mesh uh, with my swing style. I have a hard time finding the sweet spot. But with these Regna 100s, the feel from the baseline was amazing. Uh, this is easily my favorite racket to hit with from the baseline in the Yonex lineup so far. So let's first see what I did like about the Regna 100s. Now what did I like about the Regna 100? To be honest, I was very pleasantly surprised at how much I really liked this string from the baseline. It had incredible uh, power, especially on those full swings on my forehand side. When I demoed the Ezone 98, I said that I really liked that racket on serves and at the net. The Regna 100 on, on the other hand, I liked best on hitting ground strokes from the baseline because that 100 square inches gave me a bigger sweet spot and the power level was just incredible. Also, I could definitely tell that the feel of this racket felt different than all Yonex rackets that I've used thus far. I do believe this has something to do with the handcrafted nature of this racket. The spec tolerance is very strict, and so these rackets are made using incredible, meticulous attention to detail, and I could feel that on the strings. This felt like nothing I've ever played with before as far as Yonex rackets go. I'm not the biggest fan of Yonex rackets on ground strokes, but this Regna 100 is easily the best ground stroking Yonex racket I've used in my life. The power was also great on flat serves and on put away volleys. The spin level was decent, the open 16-19 string pattern did give a little bit of extra spin, but it's really the power level and the feel of the Regnas that really shone during this playtest for me. I also for some reason felt that the Regna 100 had a fairly low flex which may turn off some players with sensitive elbows because a low flex usually means a stiffer feel. I didn't feel the Regna 100 was stiff by any means. Um, to my knowledge, Rionex doesn't have VDM, the vibration dampening mesh in the handle which they have in their more recent generations of their rackets, which is shocking because they've included VDM in all other retail rackets as far as I know. The response was firm without being too harsh and that allowed me to feel more connected to the ball which as you guys know, I really, really like because I like hitting sharp angles, drop shots. I like to place volleys deep into the court when I'm approaching the net or hit a drop volley to force my opponent to run for it. The feel from these rackets was incredible. And I think that had something to do with the low flex. I was able to feel the vibrations in my arm. I knew exactly where on the strings I was hitting and I knew where exactly on the court my ball was gonna go. If you're a really, really big hitter, I think the Regna 100 might be too powerful for you. The control level on the Regna was, I would say above, a little bit above average, but if you can already generate that incredible power from the baseline, I think the Regna 98, which has a tighter string pattern and a smaller head size and a thinner beam, will definitely give you better levels of control. But the Regna 100, because of its premium handcrafted build quality, the control and feel on this racket, I feel is much better than what you would find on the shelf at a tennis shop. And lastly, this is a personal thing, but the cosmetic of the Yonex Regna line is incredible. The gorgeous colorway and intricate patterns and the, the crown logo really makes this feel like tennis royalty. Japanese craftsmanship is world renowned for its superb attention to detail and the paint job and the cosmetic of both generations are very good. If I had to pick which one I like more, I think I like the 2014 model more because it has the red and black accents. My favorite color combination is red and black. So judging from the cosmetic alone, that's the one I think looks nicer. But they both have incredible attention to detail in both the construction as well as the exterior and the beautiful handcrafted design. The Regna rackets, if you can get them, I think they would definitely be worth a try. Now getting into the cons of the Regna. I don't have very many personal cons. I really like this playtest overall. Just maybe some objective things. The first thing is that they're very hard to find outside of Japan. 
and they cost a premium because they're so rare. Even in Japan, I would imagine these rackets would probably be very expensive because of the limited quantities that Yonex produces. They handcraft them, so only producing 200 of them a month means that the supply is very low. I can't find any in the United States under $500, although the MSRP is about $380. All the online retailers and eBay and all of those secondhand secondary shops, they're charging more than $500 to sometimes almost $600. So it's hard to justify spending that much money unless you're very interested in trying this racket. And the second con for me is that the Yonex grip shapes, come on Yonex, I'm getting sick and tired of these grip shapes that are not consistent with the other manufacturers. The grip size is supposed to be measured in a circumference around the handle. So if it says four and one fourth, it's supposed to be four and one fourth inches in circumference around the handle. Yonex, please start making your grips accurate because your grips are too big for me. Normally I use a four and one fourth grip size, but when it comes to Yonex, if I could find one, I would prefer a 1 8 because the grips are just too big for me, especially after I put an overgrip on it. Also, just like other Yonex rackets, the butt cap area lacks a pronounced flare like head or Prince rackets. And so when I'm swinging out on kick serves where I really pronate, I feel like this racket is going to come flying out of my hand. And so this is a personal gripe, but I wish Yonex would make their grips a little bit more consistent in sizing because it's actually supposed to be measured around the circumference. So technically all manufacturers should have the same grip sizes. If I were to buy this racket, if I'm investing that much money to begin with, I might pay to get a custom grip palette, but that would cost another $100 or so. So that's something that maybe you guys would need to think about if you don't like the Yonex grips. But ultimately the Regna 100s were an incredible pleasure to play with. I would definitely like to get my hands on the Regna 98. I would like to see if that racket gets as much control as people say it does. In my opinion, is it worth it to spend $500 to buy this racket? Not for most people because most recreational players, I don't think you need to spend more than $200 on a racket because you can kind of tinker and customize a racket with lead tape and whatnot to make it suit your needs. But if you have a dying need to try this, I definitely think it is worth it if you have the money to spend on a Regna. Just the feel of the racket, I could tell that this racket was handcrafted and not just mass produced in a factory and so it's definitely worth it to try it just to see what it's like to play with a handcrafted racket or a pro stock racket, rackets customized specifically for the pros. Just like if you've never tried natural gut before, I recommend trying it just to see what it's like. I recommend trying the Regna just to see what this type of handcrafted racket can give you because there is a difference. So I really enjoyed this play test. The Regna 98 is now on my radar. If I can get my hands on it, I would love to try it. If you're even slightly interested in trying a Regna, I say give it a try because it does have a different feel than retail rackets. So thank you for watching this review of the Yonex Regna 100s. This was a real treat to hit with. I would love to get my hands on a 98 and if I do, maybe I'll review that for you guys. If you like this content and want to see more like it, be sure you overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.